share with you. Uh, today um, we are going to talk about uh, solar steel uh, distillation system with uh, attached to um, uh, flat plate solar collector uh, combined with uh, uh, PCM storage elements. Uh, first of all, you have to specify your uh, destination folder. Going to your drive, don't open your, your module from desktop. Just open it from your uh, copy to your uh, destination folder. This is my folder, so I have to go here to my drive and seeking my folder. Okay, okay, and going here and sort by name and uh, group by type in order to organize everything. This is your model and uh, just double clicking or drag and drop here okay double clicking here okay uh, this is our main module okay uh, you can uh, go to view model browser check all of this okay uh, now we are ready uh, this is our main model uh, it's idea about uh, increasing uh, the heat content in solar still in order to uh, enhance the evaporation rates uh, uh, on the glass cover. Uh, dealing with such system, we have to use, or we are going to use, solar flat plate solar collector with uh, water circulation pump here. Okay, so uh, the temperature rise in output uh, at the output point of uh, flat plate collector is responsible f uh, to is responsible for uh, heat transfer. Uh, to the uh, 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 solar steel basin and transferring uh, uh, some kind of heat uh, to the PCM tubes and uh, the heat content beside solar radiation and uh, solar glass cover uh, we are going to increase uh, uh, the evaporation rate so uh, the thermal uh, uh, the system productivity would increase um besides that we are going to lose some heat from the output stream uh, uh, from uh, uh, the solar stair which is returning back again to the flap circuit so i it is expected to work on uh, 70 degrees celsius or, uh, or 80 degrees celsius as an output and it, it is it is uh, expected or anticipated to to reach uh, down to um, um, 50s or 60s degrees Celsius, depending on the output, or oh, and uh, the thermal losses to the uh, heat content or heat transfer contents in, trapped inside uh, the solar steel. Uh, first of all, you can um, you have to click here in order to discover or browse your system. This is our system. Flat plate solar collector. We demonstrated this before, and uh, you have to refer to our previous videos about flat plate solar collectors and solar still and a bombing system. We have to assign some inputs. Set your simulation time into zero, okay? And double clicking, and for flat plate solar collector, you you can assign a solar radiation. What is your average wind speed? Uh, what is your ambient temperature and what is your desired output or top cycle temperature suppose it's uh, uh, 100 or uh, 100 let it be 100 degrees Celsius for example okay and uh, we have to specify some design aspects such as number of glass cover it would affect on overall heat transfer coefficients how many glass covers uh, over uh, the area or the cover area of the flat plate solar collector is it one or is it two that's up to you what is your tilt angle okay i do recommend for, uh, uh, 45 uh, glass cover emittance uh, plate emittance because there is uh, emittance uh, plate inside attached to the tubes uh, edge over losses normally in this value uh, bottom losses normally in this value and tube spacing what is your spacing between uh, uh, the tubes uh, through the flat plate solar collector uh, tube diameter uh, plate thickness or is it aluminium or copper whatever and you can uh, 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 specify your material thermal conductivity of, the, of your uh, uh, plate or fin uh, through the uh, flat plate collector for solar cells it's a quite different story okay 
uh, you have to specify the same, the same uh, solar radiation. What is your operating hours uh, in order to use uh, uh, or to uh, charge the, the PCM? So uh, I do recommend within one hour. Okay, within one hour it will be charged. Okay, it is just an example. We will see. And what is your ambient temperature? The same as uh, Philippe solar collector. Uh, uh, average wind speed the same as Philippe solar collector. Okay, for uh, for some design parameter, what is your still lens and still width? It's up to your design. Uh, uh, base in height, uh, uh, what is your base in height? Uh, uh, PCM uh, tubes, there's tubes inside, so what is your uh, tube's diameter? Okay, and uh, uh, tubes lens, it's up to your design. Maybe the same width of your solar still. Number of tubes, okay. Increasing number of tubes means uh, thermal bulk consumption from the output stream and uh, some constants such as uh, absorptivity, emissivity, uh, transmittance. Okay, and uh, what is your uh, heat capacity uh, for uh, PCM storage? Normally between 1.2 up to uh, 2, 2.5, something like this. And uh, PCM density, it's up to your material, you can specify your density. And heat loss, uh, so the bottom of uh, the basin and uh, overall heat uh, convection, you can assign this between this value, it, it, uh, it normally between these uh, values. And uh, effectiveness of uh, uh, transferring power, uh, thermal power from the tubes to the uh, uh, PCM storage, I do recommend uh, uh, it's between 80% uh, or 90%, no more than this. Okay, for uh, cost analysis, this part is responsible for uh, cost analysis. So the solar still, so it's up to your uh, specifications. Okay, and uh, let's go for bumping system. We need just to specify uh, uh, um, uh, efficiency of your bump. Okay, now our our model is ready. So let's go and hit run saving and hit run and see our results we have to wait a little bit okay okay let's discover a uh, uh, unit by unit for flapless solar field uh, as you can see here we have here this is a, the uh, main inputs uh, despite of the specifications we we, we have uh, assigned we have um, uh, temperature coming this temperature is uh, coming from the pump. This is bumping stream. As you can see here, we have output from the pump to the flap plate, and we have stream from flap plate to the solar still, and we have returning back again to the pump, and it's a loop. Okay, so for a flap plate, we have uh, thermal power going to, or thermal load. This is thermal load on the flap plate coming from uh, the solar still. Okay, as you can see here, it's 16 kilowatts of thermal load. It's input, and we have inlet temperature because this is temperature is output from the solar cell uh, going through the bump and returning back again to the uh, flapless solar field. You can double clicking here and you can edit or remove or use or reform your flapless uh, code. This is your function. Okay, this is these are your outputs. This is. This is your function name and these are your uh, inputs. So you can copy the code and use it for your research. Uh, we have here um, a plate temperature um, and we have a uh, mean plate temperature. Okay. And we have a solar field area. It is about uh, under such kind or under the specific or current specifications, we have to consume our, around uh, 30. Uh, square meters of solar field area and this is our uh, uh, mass flow rate through the solar field and uh, solar uh, and solar still uh, overall heat loss uh, heat removal factor fin efficiency if efficiency factor flow factor uh, this is your solar uh, collector efficiency some irreversibility and exchange rates and uh, we have outlet temperature going to the uh, 
uh, solar state. It, it would, would be input to the solar state, and mass flow rate also is going through the solar state. So let's uh, going to the solar state and discover, try to discover uh, some uh, parameters. We have here outlet coming from the solar philippic solar collector. It's input to the solar state, input temperature. And uh, we have here mass flow rate as input. I will have some uh, uh, unknown parameters. It's, it, is, it, it should be calculated via uh, looping. So this is initial conditions. This is our initial condition to try to uh, swap or remove or reform. Okay. Let's go and discover some uh, uh, outputs. Let's begin from uh, thermal loads. This is thermal loads um, uh, going to the flap collector, okay? And this is uh, double clicking on your uh, uh, block. You will, you will find your solar steel code so you can uh, reform. These are your uh, uh, thermal properties functions. You can use it. This is the main equation, main uh, energy equations. So you can reform, okay, or edit, okay. This is thermal load on flap collector, okay. And this is a thermal load in what? Uh, through the PCM storage, okay. And uh, we have here convection heat flux between water and glass cover, and what? And we have evaporation rate, okay, evaporation heat flux. And we have radiation heat flux. And uh, convection heat flux between glass cover and ambient, okay and uh, radiation heat flux between uh, glass cover and uh, ambient convection and radiation and we have convection between uh, basin and uh, water side and this is your yield or product product under uh, such circumstances or operating conditions you have to collect a 0.96 kilogram of uh, almost one liter uh, under this specific uh, considerations and this is your average uh, average temperature water temperature inside the basin and we have glass cover temperature uh, basin temperature and outlet temperature this is your outlet temperature sh should be returned back to the uh, uh, flap solar collector okay and we this is your uh, uh, pcm temperature current pcm temperature Going to the bump, we have a stream coming from the solar stair to the bump, inlet temperature, uh, uh, okay, and uh, uh, this is your inlet bump temperature, and, and this is outlet temperature going uh, to the uh, uh, solar field, okay, and uh, this is your power, pumping power, okay, and uh, at pressure, okay. So suppose I need to uh, specify uh, another operating conditions. Let's, let's go for, uh, suppose it's 80 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Celsius, okay. And uh, this is top side, this is uh, output temperature uh, going to the solar stair, 80 degrees Celsius. So we have to realize our effect on productivity. If we decrease the temperature, uh, okay, decreasing temperature should decrease uh, the productivity, that's quite normal, and should decrease also the output temperature uh, goes to the flap solar collector, okay, this is output, so from 80, it, it will lose some heat, it, the stream will uh, lose some heat and avoid uh, transfer losses and so on, so the temperature will drop would be dropped to uh, 71 degrees Celsius. This is quite logic. Uh, suppose I'm going for 110, 110 degrees Celsius as a top temperature, and we can realize the effect on productivity. And this is your product, okay? Because this is a performance model, saving and hit, hit run, and you will realize Okay, increasing up to uh, 110 degrees, it, it will um, produce almost one uh, kilogram plus 165 grams of, uh, of distilled water. And this is uh, outlet temperature going back to the uh, 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 solar field. And this is your solar field going up to 100 degrees Celsius, um, this is your flow rate. It will drop your flow rate, so we can discuss uh, your results. Uh, 
if you uh, you can go here and you will find all data are stored here in uh, MATLAB this is your for example M feed double clicking you will find it here or you can drag and drop here and click enter you will find your result so you can use you can calculate or uh, doing your uh, specifications um, let's go for uh, trying to if you decrease the solar radiation should you, you will are going to decrease uh, uh, the so, uh, increase the solar field area it would increase the solar field area okay and this is your outlet temperature okay and this is inlet uh, bump temperature okay okay Okay, this is score of uh, solar thermal, so you can uh, deal with. Okay, let's go for uh, uh, in trying to. Uh, you can change some parameters. Uh, so, uh, so as the solar said, whatever. Uh, suppose I need to increase uh, the the still uh, area. Uh, let it be uh, the lens, for example. I will increase the lens 1.5 meter, and uh, I need to see. Uh, what is the effect on productivity okay and let's go here and see the effect on uh, where is yes here okay the, the, the product is has increased the product has increased because you increase the, the still area so it's quite uh, normal quite normal so we have many parameters to address uh, going through the dimensions going through the operating conditions i return it back to one okay um, you have you can uh, um, select uh, what is your uh, absorptivity some kind of some materials you can change and you realize your uh, results uh, at once uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for your uh, interesting in our model don't forget to uh, like uh, share and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much